To fix error 1, we need to check two places. The first is to check whether the plug is loose or in the wrong place. And the second is to check whether this part is disconnected. We can use a multimeter to examine this part. If it's unbroken, the multimeter will display around 1000 ohm. Please remember we should do it under normal temperature. To fix error 2, we need to check these two yellow wires. When we are going to put this main engine into the case, we need to make sure these two wires are in the right place. Otherwise, the Teflon case may get broken, which may cause short circuit and the burning of the main board. fix error 3, we need to check these two places. The first is to check whether this plug is loose or not. The second is that during the installation of the parking heater, we need to leave a little bit distance, about 20 cm in front of this inlet hole, to dissipate the heat. To fix error 4, we need to check these two places. First, please check whether this plug is loose or not. Second, the power of ignition plug is not enough. Please don't apply a 24 volt ignition plug on a 12 volt main engine or 12 volt ignition plug on a 24 volt main engine. To fix error 5 and error 6, we only need to check whether the control panel is broken or not. To fix error 7, we need to check three places. First, where the voltage of the parking heater matches that of the vehicle. Second, when you start the car, please check the battery voltage. If your heater is 24V, the normal range should be 18V to 30V. And if the heater is 12V, the normal range should be 8V to 15V. Third, please check where the circuit board is broken. To fix error 8, we need to check three places. First, whether the voltage of the parking heater matches that of the vehicle. Second, when you start the car, please check the battery voltage. If your heater is 24V, the normal range should be 18V to 30V. And if it is 12V, the normal range should be 8V to 15V. Third, please check whether the circuit board is broken.
To fix error 9, we need to check three places. First, whether the Teflon case of the ignition plug wire is broken or not. Second, check whether this part of the ignition plug is totally broken or not. Third, check whether the circular board is broken or not. Fix error 11, we need to pay attention to these three points. First, whether the wire terminal of the ignition plug is disconnected. Second, the power of the ignition plug becomes low. Third, check whether the circuit board is broken. To fix error 12, we need to check four places. First, check whether the fan is stuck by the case or not. Second, check the way you insert the plugs. Third, when you are trying to install a new circuit board, please check whether the position of whole sensor is right or not. Fourth, check whether you have pushed the fan to the end or not. Fix error 13, please check where the plug is loose and the way you insert the plug.
and please check whether the Teflon case of the wire is broken. To fix error 14, please check whether the plug is loose or not. And please check whether fuel pump voltage matches that of the main engine. There are two reasons that may cause error 16. First, the control panel doesn't match the main engine. Second, the wire and the plug may be loose. To fix error 19, we need to check these two places. First, whether this part of the ignition plug is broken or not. Second, because of the length of the fuel pump, it's hard to get the fuel. You might need to start the car for two or three times until the fuel gets to the heater.